So what I'm actually going to attempt to do is I've got a clear piece of glass and I've got some glass lime black glass. So it's got, I believe it's glass powder um, mixed with a medium so that you can actually paint with it and draw with it. So I've just done a couple of rough circles on here just to give me a guide and I'm going to attempt to make do a mandala on this piece of glass. So let's see how we go. It's tricky, just trying to push this and guide it at the same time. So let's see how it goes. I'm glad I did a guide circle because that would have probably ended up as either an oval or a triangle, could have been anything. So that's not a bad start. Oh, wibbly wobbly. It's really hard. I might actually act transfer some of this into a smaller squeezy bottle so I've got a little bit more control because it's actually quite a lot of pressure being put on the bottle to squeeze it so we're going to pop a little circle in the middle and then build this up you can probably hear me doing my concentration breathing I count when I'm doing stuff like this I normally draw with a sharpie or something else and when I'm doing it I tend to count in my head so that my strokes are the same which is really easy with a pen and a bit of paper but actually with the glass it look, feels like it wants to go off on its own so I'm just gonna kind of go with it and see what happens it might be easier if I start turning the glass around as I'm drawing it it's totally not in that circle anymore <laughs> But it doesn't really matter. This is a bit of a play and see how it comes out. What I'll do when it's drawn, I'll cut the glass down to size so that it will fit into my kiln and I'll be able to fire it so that all of the glass melts together with the one design on it. So I'm going to shush and concentrate for a moment. Right, I'm going to move it off of the circle now because it's actually getting in my way visually. I was going to be quiet, I said, but I'm kind of not now. I hope with the beautiful sunshine coming through, you can actually still see what I'm doing, but I'm loath to close my studio door when I finally got some sun to come in and actually warm the place up. been pretty cold in here over the past few weeks and it's really nice to actually be able to feel my fingers and the warmth obviously helps the glass and medium to actually flow better so my hand feels like it's actually going to cramp up now because I'm trying to squeeze this Con with a sort of controlled manner um, so so far too bad it's not as neat as I'd like it but um, let's see how we how we get on with it or rather me because it's me doing it and you can just watch that feels better flowing along sorry counting But I'd end up with a silly little gap at the end. They're not even. Whew. Just gonna have a little bit of a wiggle. <laughs> Shake the bottle. Bring the wrist to life. So I'm just gonna do a line there. A line there doing this all by eye it would be really nice to measure it all but I like trying to do things without a ruler just so I can actually practice my judgment when it comes to sizing things so let's see if we can do this the nice thing about this is that you can if you make a mistake you can wipe it off or scratch it off if it's dry and that means you can then start again 
hopefully I won't do that because it's a bit of a waste of the product which uh, I'm hoping is going to last me quite some time although if this works out well I'm going to be doing a lot of mandalas so I might actually have to buy some more and you can get them in loads of different colours as well I went for black because I just thought it's a really good cut like one to start and practice with but I might end up having to take a loan out to buy more glass <laughs> oh, it's getting shakier and shakier as my arm is getting tireder and tireder I'd normally take a break but I'm kind of I've got a certain amount of time before I can pick up my little boy from school so I'm kind of just gonna keep keep going not bad cool Now I'm just going to let that outside bit dry for a little bit because I am at risk of smudging everything as I'm doing it. So I'm going to allow my wrist to have some freedom for a bit and let this dry and then I'll carry on. So this is now dry. I don't know if you can see it, but it's turned like a grey colour. That means I can now um, just get on with filling some other bits in. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but I'm just going with the with the flow of it. It's going to... Oh nearly knocked the water over so you can see just testing that bit there and to make sure that the glass is right at the very end of the nib to avoid any air bubbles and I'm going to try and do this as carefully as possible to do this inner line match up with the outer line they're not even like I said but for this it's just a practice run really but I wanted to see if I could I've done little ones tiny ones but I wanted to see if I could do something a bit bigger I hope you can see this again with this beautiful sun out at the moment it's also because it's on clear glass I am hoping you can see through what I'm doing not just all the shadows Oh, move the glass a bit while I'm doing it and it helps me flow. It's a lot easier when you've allowed some of it to dry as well because you're not smudging pieces that you've done already. Because I know what I'm like when it comes to doing it with a pen or a pencil. I have all these little smudge marks. And while that outside's drying, I'm just going to try and do some little dots in... Oh. <laughs> See, in the wrong place, not to worry. Don't want them too big because I don't want it all to blur into one if I can help it. Because I've gone right to the edge on this piece of glass and it's too big to go in my kiln, I might actually cut it into four pieces. Oh, I've got a little bit of glass on the side that's jabbed itself in my hand. Oh well, blood burns off. Not to worry used to that by now Pop. <laughs> little sound effects and I will just go with some other little peaks in between admittedly this video is going to be really long so I'm going to end up speeding it up for you all so that you can see this done really quickly let's try and do some little circles oh wrong place there we go see wipe off Got a bit carried away then. Oh, nearly did it again. <laughs> so it's just building up layers, really. So I don't know where I'm going with this. It's very 
organic on the whole design idea just to see what happens oh hands getting a bit shaky again because putting the pressure on to squeeze the fluid out fluid interesting word see if I can do some smaller ones around the outside And it's starting to hurt. It's all worth it. What is it? No pain, no gain. Oh, yeah. It's very true when it comes to this. You know, when you start something and you think, I'm not quite sure why I started, but I've got to finish. loosen up of the hand now do I put little circles inside the bubbles yeah of course I do so it's not perfectly even but Adds to the beauty of handmade things. Just looking at it now to see what else I want to do. Wind's blowing the camera. I'm here in Paynton in my little studio. Beautiful view of all the hills from sheep. God loves sheep. Although I don't know if anyone's noticed, but the sheep in Devon are kind of pinky reddy colour. You know, the weirdest thing when I saw a sheep was when I saw one with a tail. I kind of looked at it and I was just like, oh, that's weird. Sheep don't have tails. Clearly they do. It's one of those odd observations that you make. And then realise you're completely weird. 
Oh, I'm proper bleeding. Huh. Oh well, not to worry. Okay, so this little circle here has filled itself in because I made it too, I put too much paint on there. So when I've finished, I'll just scrape the little bit out in the middle. Or not even when I finish, but now, so. That looks better. Oh, and that one there. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Oh, this is what happens. I look at things and I think, oh, I could just add that and I could just add that. Sometimes you just need to keep it a bit more simple. I'm just looking at areas where now it's dry, I might have actually missed lines that are joining up. Kind of run out of it. No, there it is. Thought I'd run out. It's gonna cry then. So I think that's all joined up. Should I do anything else? No, I don't think so. You can see it. Well, if you can see it. Just scratch out that center piece there. So that it's got a little hole in the middle. I've got a little pin somewhere. So I can unblock that. I think that's everything. So I'm going to leave it at that and what I'll do is I'll let it dry and then I'll cut it into four and then I will be able to fuse the glass all together. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'm going to decide how I'm going to fire it and then I'll let you see it. Bye!